Alright, so I'm going to be showing you the StarTac 8000G. Um, I got its high class little desktop charger the other day. Uh, anyways, 8000G, extremely rare GSM StarTac. It was the 8000 and the 7000, which is that one, were the only GSM StarTacs to work, that work in the United States on the 1900 megahertz frequency. Um, really nice. What uh, the difference is they've got the pop-up Motorola really really nice uh, that this I think this is the only type of Motorola that has the pop-up lettering uh, both of them are gray so if you're looking for a GSM StarTac they, I think they're pretty much the only gray ones and they're also the only one that have the OK and the clear up here the non GSM StarTacs have them down here so if you're looking and the person doesn't know what kind of phone he has that's how you can tell um, anyways, this thing is from 96, and because GSM came out in the United States in 95, and in 95 and 96 pretty much were the only years that used a full-size SIM, so what I have here is a full-size SIM adapter, and this is my regular SIM card, and I slip it in the little pocket there. But the normal ones were actually this size. Pretty ridiculous. I don't know why they had to make them like that. Um, anyways, this slips in. There's this little slot back here. Uh, they had to make this phone wider because it needed to fit the... You see it just barely fits in with as far as width. And so they had to widen the phone out. You see it's a bit flared out here. Um, Anyways, really nice grip. You've got the grip on the side so that you're not you're not messing around with that. Uh, this one was originally used with PacBell, which was bought by Singular, which was bought by AT&T. So, anyways, that's the history on this. It's got the standard StarTac antenna there. Um, searching for signal. We've got green backlight here. Um, and pretty much this phone is not user friendly at all. Uh, really sad. Uh, we got the menu, um, messages. It does do texts, which a lot of the other star texts do not do outgoing texts. They just do incoming. Um, but here, message editor. That's how they phrased. Write. Do you want to write a message? Was message editor. I don't know why they had to make it so evasive. But and then when you go into it, it goes into your last message. So I guess the last thing I typed was J, really important text message I was typing. Um, so it says J, and I actually have to erase it before I can write something new. So, um, anyways, I'm writing nonsense. And then you go OK, send message, you'd send it. Enter number, you cannot search for a number, so you're going to have to memorize the phone numbers you want to text on this. Uh, super inconvenient. Anyways, that's that. You see we do get service and I'm going to just go ahead and place a call for you. This is with my GSM uh, SIM card and you can hear it. It calls. It calls, believe it or not. Um, anyways, it does have caller ID. Best phone ever. Extremely rare. I just wanted to do some footage of this because it's unbelievably rare. It does have vibrate. It's got a status light up here, flashing green because I have service. Um, these buttons over here uh, navigate to the volume control. Uh, I had to turn the keypad volumes off for some reason. The keypad volumes and the ringer volumes are attached. So in order to actually hear what I was being told on the phone, I had to turn this up all the way and it was making my keys blow up on me. So I went ahead and turned those off. Uh, no more keypad volume for me. Um, anyways, it it's pretty much awesome. Pretty much the best phone ever. Uh, thanks.